What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Reese's from Reese's Pythons. I want to do a little update video on my floors. Y'all know I had carpet. This is my closet where my snakes been. You know, I had carpet on the floors at first. But now, it's hardwood floors. And this is how it is in the whole house. The whole house is floored out. They have horrible floors around the whole house. So wanted to let y'all see what I was dealing with the past couple of days. And they still got just a little some little strips on the stairs they have to do. They have to order a little strip part. Don't know why, but that's where it's at. But me and my wife exchange sides on the clo in the closet I have her side now and she has mine so I was able to push my snakes back to the wall I'm gonna eventually move my clothes from over there it's just pretty really my shirts but that's I put my snakes on that side of the closet now and that's my you know my Saints blanket right there that I so love and I have my small little stand next to the Saints blanket at first it was my my little shelf and my little rack but y'all get it but yeah just want to do that little video on, on the floors and in the snake room snake closet in the closet, whatever you want to call it. So, this your boy Reese's from Reese's Pythons. Uh, I think my next video might be, I'm not too sure. Oh, I see I have some cleaning to do too. Got some poop right here I gotta clean. Uh, but yeah, my next video might be uh, on I got into ball pythons. Gone Yupa, Jason from Gone Yupa Fits Constrictors. Uh, ben asked me to do a video on how I got into ball pythons, and I just, I've done it, but I lost the video. I wasn't able to upload it, so I have to do it over and let y'all know how I got into ball pythons. Nothing special, you know, but just, just think y'all should know. So. That's my video, y'all. Reese's from Reese's Pythons. I'm kind of tired. Y'all can probably hear it in my voice. I'm tired. I've been dealing with moving furniture for the last few days. I've been going to my son, my my kids' games through the week. Uh, I work at a school now, so I do security at a school. And I deal with kids all day. Walking, crossing across the, the street. Uh, walking to schools. Walking around the school, talking to kids that get put out of class, and uh, I'm just drained, y'all. So, uh, like I said, yeah, I'm tired. And I just come from Walmart from getting a container. Oh, let me show y'all. I went and bought a container, and I taped the uh, heat, heating pad underneath there for my partner. He has a... Uh, a baby ball, ball python that I'm going to give him for his birthday Monday. Uh, he's not going to keep that heat pad. It's just the thought of me. You know, they're going to be his birthday present. I was going to surprise him, but I wound up video chatting him and telling him yesterday and showing him. I'm going to give him the male cinnamon that I have for his birthday Monday. So, along with the container and a water bowl and a hide. So, you don't have nothing to worry about but substrate. Plug the heating pad up. There you have it. Y'all remember a video I done? I gave my nephew a snake. And he still has it, matter of fact. I'm surprised. I gave my nephew a snake. And I also gave a cousin of mine a snake. Just so they can get, not my nephew, but my cousin. Just so he can get real familiar with <clears throat> how, ball how ball pythons, you know, act or whatever. You know, I just try to do that so I can get... 
people into ball pythons. I get them into it, they get others into it, and you know, it can go further and further. That's what we're here for. That's what it's about. So I went on ahead and gave my nephew a snake, gave my cousin a snake, and uh, hopefully they can pass that on about ball pythons. Teach them a little bit about their friends and family about ball pythons or whatever. But yeah, like I said, I'm tired. I know y'all can hear it in my voice. Uh, what else I want to say? And as far as my friend, my partner of mine, who I'm giving a snake to, I actually have him into snakes, ball pythons, that is. He said he used to have a king snake a while back, you know, in his younger days or whatever, but Ben got rid of it, so they used to come over here and watch my snakes and, you know, play around with my snakes, and I brought them to their first show uh, last year, year before last. They first, they first uh, reptile show, herb show out here in New Orleans, and uh, they wind up buying a snake, and they bought a, a normal head caramel. I'm sorry, a normal head candy, female. And the following year, which is last year, they bought a pastel male, and they wind up getting an, an older pastel female from a friend of mine on Facebook. Uh, Miss Shelley. So right now they have three snakes along with the snake that I'm gonna give them tomorrow that'll be four. So, you know, just just the little things, you know what I'm saying? That can get people into ball pythons and they can learn from experience and from uh well in his case, learn from me, from what I've I've passed on to him about ball pythons or whatever. And he learned as he go, but was his collection, his little small collection or whatever. So that's what it's about, like I said before, getting people into ball pythons. Uh I am so tired. <laughs> but yeah, y'all, I'm gonna end this video for sure this time. I know it's like the third time I said it, but y'all have a good night. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I'm out.